video I am going to talk about nuclear receptors. As mentioned earlier, the receptors are of four main types. These are ligand gated ion channels, G protein coupled receptors, kinase linked receptors and nuclear receptors. Focusing my talk on nuclear receptors, these receptors regulate gene transcription. Unlike the other receptors that are embedded in the cell membrane, these receptors are located in the intracellular region either in the nucleus or in the cytoplasm. The word nuclear receptor is a misnomer because these receptors may be present in the cytosol and they migrate to the nucleus when a ligand binds to it. The nuclear receptor family recognizes ligands such as vitamin A, vitamin D and other hormonal substances such as corticosteroids, sex hormones and thyroid hormones. The main category of nuclear receptors belongs to steroidal hormones such as glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, estrogen, progesterone and androgens. The steroid receptor is located in the cytoplasm and is present in an inactive state complexed with a heat shock protein 90. Glucocorticoid which has high affinity for the steroid receptor is transported through the membrane and enters into the cytoplasm. The steroid receptor then dissociates from the heat shock protein 90 and binds with glucocorticoid to form a complex. The dimer which is the glucocorticoid receptor and glucocorticoid complex then translocates into the nucleus. Once inside the nucleus, the homodimer complex may transactivate or transrepress genes by binding to the positive or negative glucocorticoid response elements. So this gives rise to gene transcription protein synthesis. The other category of nuclear receptors include receptors for thyroid hormone, receptors for vitamin A and D, and peroxism proliferator activated receptor that is PPAR which acts as a lipid sensor and modulates lipid metabolism within the cell. This category of nuclear receptors are present within the nucleus and initiate gene transcription and protein synthesis unlike the steroid receptors which are present in the cytoplasm and translocate into the nucleus after forming dimers and activate protein synthesis. Gene transcription is a relatively slow and long-lasting process. Therefore, drugs that target these receptors often require a longer period for the onset of action and also the effects are long-lasting. Compared to drugs that act on ion channels, G-protein coupled receptors and tyrosine kinase receptors. This brings us to the end of the topic. These are my references. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share.